Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes in Thailand where we discuss news stories that kind of, well they might have flown under the radar and they might raise your eyebrows even make you chuckle a little bit. Now we will be using the Tigers news articles, it's a famous uh, news outlet here in Thailand. I'll leave their YouTube link and their website details down in the description below. Now we're going to start off with one that did make me chuckle a bit. Yeah, this uh, this guy on a motorcycle who uh, I think he'd been parked on the pavement or sidewalk and the uh, police or the authorities were trying to take it away. He wasn't too happy about proceeding, so yeah, he just uh, opened the door and defecated into the uh, into the, the, the authorities' car. <laughs> now the man has ended up being fined 7,000 baht uh, for both parking on the sidewalk and as the, the article says, unanticipated evacuation. I suppose, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. So uh, anyway, on to something completely different. This did raise my eyebrows concerning a Danish guy not far from me in Nakhon Sawan, where his wife, uh, they've been married, they've got kids, planned to have the poor guy killed in a, in a road accident for insurance money, 10 million baht apparently. They'd been having problems, he'd wanted a divorce. He didn't want a divorce, so the wife planned with one of her friends and nephew to hit the guy in a car accident. And the guy, unfortunately, the guy was critically injured. He survived, and that investigation is still ongoing. Right, breaking news, we've just, just got in, and uh, apparently Malaysia watches more porn than any other Asian country, a uh, study reveals. And uh, number one is Slovakia, number two, is Bulgaria and three is Ireland. Malaysia's fourth, so where did Thailand rank? Well, you've got Singapore at eighth there, you've got Philippines at tenth. Well, apparently Thailand didn't actually even appear on the survey uh, because over 190 websites uh, like that, those naughty, awful websites are banned. Uh, they have been since uh, November 2020. Uh, so uh, it didn't feature on the list. We just use a VPN, don't you? I don't know, some bloke told me that. Right, now if the first news story didn't put you off your dinner, this one might. Uh, this uh, very bizarre story, a cult in Isan province where 11 corpses have been found. According to the cult leader, Joseph, those bodies were waiting to go to heaven. And the followers of this cult were lured into consuming his feces, urine, skin flakes, saliva, cigarette butts, uh, claiming that these could cure every disease. Now Joseph did tell the reporters and authorities that uh, he didn't make these people consume his waste. He said they believed in his powers. Now, the provincial governor turned up and advised the cult leader about hygiene and warned followers not to believe in everything they were told. He was charged for violating the Disease Control Act, bizarrely, for not wearing masks. Um, but other penalties are forthcoming, I believe, after a full investigation has been completed. In more mainstream news, the Koh San Road has uh, reported an upturn in tourists. Yeah, the easing of restrictions May the 1st. Yeah, a lot more people coming in. The Thailand Pass is hopefully going to be scrapped soon. It has been scrapped for Thais, I believe, but not yet for Westerners. So hopefully the government stands by its decision to make the pandemic an, an endemic from July the 1st. And yes, as we saw in my video up in Chiang Mai, hopefully you all trickle or head your way north and give Chiang Mai some love. And for the Pattaya lovers out there, uh, Walking Street is getting ready for an influx of visitors. Police have been setting up checkpoints. Bar owners are still a bit disgruntled. They're having to front as restaurants currently. They want a full opening of bars and also a 3 a.m. closing time. It's currently 12 midnight. Now, we're gonna head over to my favorite Facebook group, uh, Bad Driving in Thailand. Uh, if you've driven in Thailand, you do see a few sites, and if you were to come back as something after you pop your clock, you certainly wouldn't want to come back as a, a pickup truck in Thailand. They are, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's harsh, but that's a good, it's a good advert for a Susie. And if you're a rider, uh, then yeah, the, uh, you can get some close shaves here, and these guys were very lucky, could have ended up in more than tears. Anyway, there you go. I don't even know if we're at five minutes. It could be four, it could be six, I don't know. But make sure you uh, subscribe to Tiger for your daily news updates. And if you have any stories, bizarre, we're looking for the bizarre on five minutes uh, in Thailand. Uh, we will mix it up with some conventional news as well. But yeah, if you've got any stories uh, you want to send to me, I'll leave my Facebook page, details down in the description, and we can put them up in the, the next installment.
We've got some videos coming up. Looking at a, a, an interesting three bedroom at the weekend. And uh, we'll be checking out Annie's place in Patamtani, just north of Bangkok, uh, where she's starting at Bangkok University. We'll see what her, her condo is quite nice, actually. It's got a swimming pool there and everything. Anyway, we'll be checking that out. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy your dinner. And on that note, I say stay safe, stay well. I'll see you in the next one.